My name is Stefan Andre Session. I am the VI role model for the uh, visual impairment team for Staffordshire County Council. I started in the summer of 2018, so six years almost. My work entails going into schools, working with severely sight impaired, so tactile auditory learners, and I help to train them up on access technology, do a bit of advocacy, speak to them about the sort of challenges that life might throw up as visually impaired people. It's one thing knowing the theory of what life could be like with a visual impairment, but it's an entire other thing speaking to somebody who has already kind of trodden the path. It's a lovely position to be in, to kind of have been there and to put something back in to kind of make other people's lives a lot easier than mine maybe was when I was growing up. I don't do stage fright, I, well I didn't. I haven't since I was 15 and I was absolutely terrified. You can understand when you watch the show, when people come out and they're doing backflips and they're, you know, there's all this energy. Why? Because you're basically sort of pent up in this room for six hours <laughs> sitting there waiting to go on and it's, it's, it's hard, it really is difficult. There'd been over four million views on the audition across YouTube and Facebook, which is insane. I, I read a comment thread on a, on a social media thread. Somebody said, oh, I started to well up after the first chord and I, I, I did respond because it, it was a private group. And I said, yes, yeah, so did I. I completely splatted the first chord on the piano. And that is absolutely true. I, I completely fluffed it. I can pretend it was some kind of postmodern statement, but it wasn't. It was a blatant mistake. It was a lot of fun and um, I think the more it happened and the more we sort of warmed into the task, I think it, the more the more straightforward it was and, and, and the more we kind of felt more comfortable doing it. We saw Rat and Deck for about a minute or two before. That's, that's a weird thing, being backstage at an event and seeing somebody and not being introduced to them or not having to be introduced to them because you know who they are because of what they sound like. They were lovely. When we finished our first piece, Simon asked us to do a second piece and he must have seen Denise's face because usually the kind of reality TV trope is if you don't perform your first piece very well they ask you to do a second one and you pull this amazing performance out of your, out of your hat. Um, so he must have seen her face I was like oh god no. and he went no it's a good thing. Um, so he, they went out of their way to try and sort of set our minds at rest. We did the Ave Maria by Schubert. We obviously did the audition in February you know, tonight's is completely live in front of five and a half thousand people at the Hammersmith Apollo and a TV audience of about seven million. Uh, I'm trying not to think about it, but I mean, it's the only thing I'm thinking about. So <laughs> that's a fail. It's probably going to be flashier and louder and there's a, a visual that they've created to go along with it, which I'm told is amazing. I mean, in fairness, it could tell me anything. Hopefully it'll be something that people can relate to and people can kind of hook into and, and vote for us to get through to the final. I've worked at Staffordshire County Council for uh, about uh, six years, roughly the same amount of time as Stefan. I've known Stefan since 2018 when he started the job. I've worked with Staffordshire County Council uh, since 2012 and with Stefan since 2018. Well he's, he's great, he's a, he's a barrel of laughs, he's always good fun to work with but he always puts the needs of the children first, he's very serious about his role in the team. He's very sort of uh, cheerful and chatty and gets on well with children. Nothing's too much trouble. He will do anything and everything he can for the young people and their families uh, and he's a real credit to himself and to the council as well. The fact that he's on uh, Britain's Got Talent shows that the young people we work with and in particular that he works with that having a vision impairment isn't necessarily a, a barrier to achieving your goals and your dreams and he's a real advocate for that. He's such an asset to the team because he just knows all about the IT that, uh, that all our children uh, who are blind need to use and he uses it in his everyday life. He's really approachable, obviously he's got lived experience, he knows exactly what these young people might be feeling or what they might encounter, also the families as well. You have to vote for him because he's a really, really great bloke, he does a brilliant job and he's just a fantastic pianist. Vote for Stefan, they've got, and Denise, they, they need to win. Vote for Stefan!